Hi all, I am Shagnik Mondal from King Abdullah University of Science and Technology presenting my work Parallel Approximations of the 2KGH Likelihood and Predictions for Non-Gaussian Geostatistics. The Gaussian random field is one of the most popular model used in geostatistics. However, it is not always suitable, particularly when the data shows any sort of skewness or tail thickness in the marginals. So in those cases, one can use some non-Gaussian random fields, like the 2KGH random field. In this work, we present the high performance implementation of the 2KGH log likelihood function for the large scale geostatistical applications and predictions. We also implement two different approximation methods, namely the tile low rank approximation and the hierarchical off diagonal low rank approximation for the covariance matrix. And we also compare their performance with the exact implementation. Here is an example of a spatial data where the Gaussian random field fails to model the data adequately. Notice that we have some extreme values in the southwestern region. In these types of data where we have some extreme values, the Gaussian random field fails and it is better to use some non-Gaussian random field in these cases. We use the 2KGH random field as a non-Gaussian random field because it includes many well-known non-Gaussian random fields as a special case along with the Gaussian random field. This model is also very intuitively appealing and very easy to interpret. The 2KGH random field T at a location S is defined by this equation here, which is xi plus omega into tau GH of Z of S. So Z of S is a Latin Gaussian random field with mean zero and some correlation function. And uh, this tau GH is a one-to-one -one transformation. For this work, we use this isotropic Maton correlation function given by this equation here as the correlation function of the Latin Gaussian random field. This transformation tau gh of z given by this equation here introduces the skewness and the tail thickness on the Gaussian distribution by these two parameters g and h respectively, where g can be any value in the real line and h has to be more than or equal to zero. The plot of the density function of Ts when xi is zero and omega is one is given by, by these plots here. So we have plotted the density functions of uh, this Ts random variable when uh, for different combinations of g and h. And when g and h both are zero, we get back the Gaussian distribution. And when uh, G increases, we get more and more skewness in the distribution. And when H increases, we get more and more tail thickness in the distribution. Let theta one be the parameter vectors, xi, omega, G and H. Where xi is the location parameter, omega is the scale parameter, G and H are the parameters corresponding to the transformation and theta two, is this parameter vectors phi and nu corresponding to the Maton correlation function. And for a given data set dn of size n, uh, which is given by this here, which is collected from a 2KGH random field at locations S1 to Sn, the 2KGH likelihood function is given by this equation here. Z theta one, is a vector consisting of the elements z theta one s one to z theta one s n, and which are defined by this equation here. And uh, this tau g h inverse uh, has to be computed numerically. We do not have any mathematical closed form expression for this inverse function. We find the maximum likelihood estimators of theta one and theta two by maximizing this quantity here for a given data set. Now for a given maximum likelihood estimates of theta one and theta two, 
we can have the best prediction equation under the squared error loss function for a new location S0, which is given by this here. Computation of both the log likelihood and the prediction involves matrix operations. Among them, the matrix inversion is the most challenging. For a special data with n locations, the covariance matrix size will be n cross n. To invert the matrix of size n cross n, if we do Cholesky factorization, it will take a big O of n cube performance complexity and big O of n square memory space complexity. For example, when n is 1 million, so we will have a covariance matrix of size 1 million cross 1 million. And to invert that, it will consume 8 terabyte of memory and it has to perform 10 to the power 18 flops of operations. This emphasizes that we need parallel computation in these sorts of applications. For this work, we have used the task-based parallelism for implementing the numerical operations. The main idea here is to represent the numerical operations as a set of interdependent tasks and execute them parallelly over a heterogeneous group of distributed hardware resources. We have used the StarPew software as our dynamic runtime system. Here is a pictorial representation of the ExegeoStat software that we have developed and used for this work. For the optimization, we have used the NLOPT library and for parallel linear algebra operations, we have used Chameleon for the exact implementation and HICMA for the tile low rank implementation. We are using the tile based algorithm for matrix computations, where the matrix is splitted into a set of tiles with a predetermined tile size. Then for a particular execution, the execution is transformed into a directed acyclic graph where the nodes represent the tasks and the edges represents the data dependencies. In the previous slide, an example of Cholesky factorization translated into directed acyclic graph with four tile sizes is represented here. Next, we discuss how tile low rank approximation or TLR and hierarchical off diagonal low rank approximation or hodler works. For hodler, we split the matrix into two cross two blocks and approximate the off diagonal blocks by low rank approximation using singular value decomposition. Then again, we split the diagonal blocks into two cross two sub blocks and approximate the di off diagonal sub blocks. And so on, we continue the process. We stop when we reach a certain predetermined size of the smallest sub block. For TLR, we split the whole matrix into tiles of equal predetermined sizes and low rank approximate the off diagonal tiles. The two low rank approximations have been represented pictorially in these two figures here, where the red blocks are the dense blocks and the green blocks are the low rank approximated blocks. In this slide, we present the rank distribution of 8100 cross 8100 correlation matrix obtained from the Matern correlation function with this parameter settings under the tile low rank approximation with tile size 810. Notice that as the tolerance limit decreases, the rank of the off diagonal tiles increases. For the same correlation matrix, we also present the hodler rank distribution for different tolerance limits with the size of the smallest sub block, not less than 100. The two plots of TLR and hodler rank distribution suggest that TLR puts less emphasis on the further off diagonal blocks, whereas hodler puts less emphasis on the nearer off diagonal blocks. Next, we present some simulation results. In the two simulation studies, we estimate the maximum likelihood estimates of the parameters based on the synthetic data set simulated from these two parameter settings. The synthetic data is generated over 0, 01 cross 0, 01 unit square over 20,164 random locations. 
we estimate the parameters 100 times from 100 different synthetic data simulated from each parameter settings. We summarize our estimated parameters in box plots. Along with the exact computation, we provide the results obtained from TLR and HODLR approximations under different accuracies. The two simulation studies suggest that TLR performs much better compared to HODLR. Another interesting finding is that the results from TLR with accuracy 10 to the power minus 7 is comparable to the exact results. So we suggest using TLR with accuracy 10 to the power minus 7 for faster and more memory efficient computation. Next, we present the results of our data application. We split the Germany dataset into training and testing sets randomly. The training set consists of 300,000 locations and the testing set consists of the remaining 58,303 locations. The estimated parameter values are presented in this table here. So the estimated values of the two parameters G and H are far from zero, suggesting that the Gaussian fit is not appropriate for this data set. Based on the estimated parameters, we can estimate the distribution function of the random field at each testing locations based on both the Gaussian model and the 2KGH model. If we do the probability integral transformation for each values of the testing locations, the based on the estimated distribution function, we should get back observations from uniform zero one distribution if the distribution functions at each location are correctly estimated. The PIT histograms for both the models are presented here. The PIT histogram suggests that the 2KGH fit is much more preferable for this data set compared to the Gaussian fit. Next, we present the time breakdown of computing a single likelihood function for TLR and HODLR under different accuracies in two different shared memory architecture, namely the 56 core Intel ISLEC and 120 core AMD Milan. Both the plots in X axis, we have the number of locations and in Y axis, we have the time taken for the execution. The blue sections in the two plots is the time taken for the matrix assembly in the required low rank format. And the red section is the time taken by the matrix operations. And the green section is the time consumed by other operations. From the plot, we can see that TLR is significantly faster in all departments compared to HODLR. This is mainly because TLR is based on task-based parallelism with asynchronous execution, and HODLR is based on bulk synchronous fork join paradigm. In this plot, we compare the performance of exact with tile low rank with different accuracies on two different shared memory architectures, namely 56 core Intel ISLEC and 128 cores AMD Milan. In both the plots, in X axis, we have the number of locations and in Y axis, we have the time taken to execute the computation of the likelihood function. Finally, in this plot, we compare the results of the exact computation with the tile low rank computation for different accuracies on distributed memory system. In this plot, in X axis, we have the number of locations and in Y axis, we have the time consumed to compute the likelihood function. So in summary, we provide an avenue for modeling non-Gaussian spatial data using the 2KGH random field. The parallel implementation of this 2KGH random field model facilitates modeling spatial data sets with very high number of locations. Further, we provide the tile low rank approximation of the covariance matrix, and this will facilitate the computational process in terms of both speed and memory. We provide 
a demonstration of performance and accuracy both on simulated and real data examples on our software that's it from my side thank you for your attention